What's going on everybody? Friday the 14th here and I am in a cabin at the moment because I forgot to shoot the intro and outro to this video. So here it is. This is my horror Blu-ray 4K DVD collection. I hope you enjoy. Have a good time with it. Get you some popcorn. It's not that long of a video. You don't need no popcorn. But anyways, this is what I'm enjoying right now. Out in the middle of the woods. Up here in Gatlinburg. Good shit. With the screen factories. Yeah, Army of Darkness. Behind the mask. Really wasn't I can't say that I wasn't a fan. I didn't enjoy it as a lot of people do. I need to give it a second watch. But uh a lot of people like this one, but I just I wasn't impressed on the first watch of it. But we'll give it another one. Black Christmas. The Burning at one of my favorite favorite Screen Factory releases. I, haven't, I didn't see this movie until I, I got it on Screen Factory and really, really like that one. Carrie, Cyborg, bummer they couldn't get Van Damme to do any kind of commentary or anything on the special features. Darkman, one of my favorite Screen Factory releases. Just recently watched this for the first time and the similarities to 89 Batman are absolutely crazy. A lot of fun. I really like that one. Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, Dog Soldiers, really good werewolf movie, but of course, like everybody says, the transfer, blah, 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 Drag Me to Hell, I said that really enthusiastic, didn't I? Drag Me to Hell, Dreamscape, Escape from New York, Firestarter, The Fog, up there in the top favorite Screen Factory releases, The Fun House, Ginger Snaps, Hell Knight, Howling, up there, I think this may be, yeah, this, this, this and American Werewolf in London, are probably my favorite werewolf movies, really like that one, and of course, with it being a Screen Factory release, makes it even better, Jeepers Creepers, Jeepers Creepers 2, Lake Placid, Land of the Dead, Lawnmower Man, Misery, Night of the Demons, another favorite, People Under the Stairs, Poltergeist 3, Pumpkinhead, Return of the Living Dead, Robocop 2, Shocker, um, I believe this was my first ever collector's edition that I bought. And then I think either this one or the Swamp Thing was my first ever Screen Factory. But love this one. My uncle was a big fan of that one growing up. Silent Night, Deadly Night. Sleepaway Camp. Sleepaway Camp 2. Sleepaway Camp 3. Slither. Another one that a lot of people like that I just really couldn't get into it. Um, I watched it for the first time here recently. Like I said, I wasn't really impressed with it. I'll give it a second watch. If if not, like, uh, Behind the Mask, I'll just sell them. Where are we at? Species. Any guy in their mid-30s, late 20s, knows exactly why we all love this movie. And for it to get an awesome Screen Factory release makes it even better. The Strangers. Bordello of Blood. Not a good movie, but you get some movies. Demon Knight. Tales from the Hood. Teen Wolf. Terror Train. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. They Live. The Thing. Got my Amityville set. Found that at Walmart. And then, of course, the, the Bad Boy 15-disc uh, edition of the Halloween set. So... And here, these are all my non-collector's edition Screen Factories. Got the Autopsy Jane Doe, the Babadook. Oh, these are going to fall. I know it. Uh, Backcountry, the Editor, Midnight Man, Cherry Falls, the Devil's Candy, Disturbing Behavior, 
the horror show howling to everybody monkey shines piranha pumpkin head 2 scarecrows slumber party massacre slumber party massacre 2 and 3 swamp thing Terrorvision and the video dead town of dreaded sundown and troll and troll 2 uh, arrows that i have here got the deep red set donnie darko set hills have eyes house two stories reanimator basket case blood rage this is the the three disc limited edition limited edition version brain damage children of the corn the giver killer clowns from outer space the mutilator bloodbath creep show 2 hell comes to frog town maniac cop the stuff the zero boys and then that moves straight into my synapse let's grab the right one demons demons 2 intruder phenomena There's nothing like a phenomena i can't help but say that every time prom night street trash suspiria and Bray, and then my Blue Underground, and then um, 88 Films Collection. Got Maniac Cop 2, Maniac Cop 3, Maniac, The New York Ripper, The Prowler, Uncle Sam, Don't Go Into the Woods Alone, Just Before Dawn, I wish... This one's on a lot of people's list as really good slashers, and I just just wasn't wasn't that impressed with it. Nailgun Massacre. Now I love this one. The only eight thing about these eighty-eight films is there's no subtitles to any of these, so that was kind of a bummer. Uh, Slaughterhouse and Splatter University. A small little horror four K section, a few steel books, and then the rest. Uh, as you can see, Alien Covenant. The it 4K still book. Oh god. Kevin in the woods. Get out. Mayhem. A quiet place. Just watched this other night. It was really, really good. Um yeah, I liked it a lot. I hereditary still ahead of this one for this year's horror my favorite horror movie, but this one was still Still really good. John Krasinski kicked ass from that movie. Split. And then you just got my regular horror steelbooks. American Psycho. American Werewolf in London. Beetlejuice. Just It just fits in with the horror section. Blair Witch. Christine. Don't Breathe. Evil Dead. Evil Dead, Evil Dead Remake, Fright Night, The Guest, It Follows, The Lost Boys, Shaun of the Dead, The Shining, Wolf Cop, Zombieland, then all this right here is just all my slipcovers and collector sets. All that good stuff. Uh, 28 Days Later. 47 Meters Down. Really good shark movie. I liked it a lot. Abominable. I said it right. But uh, yeah, probably up there with one of my favorite Bigfoot movies. Really, really cool release from MVD Visual. Got the Alien Anthology. Annabelle Creation. Bone Tomahawk. The Burbs. Carrie remake, Chucky collection, 
Clown, The Conjuring, The Crazies. Really like this uh, this movie. It's it's up there with one of my favorite remakes. I've never seen the original. I know Arrow has a uh, has a release of it, but the trailer just doesn't interest me at all. But I I really like that one though. Fright Night remake. Green Room. Hills Have Eyes collection. Hobo with a Shotgun. House on Sorority Row. Jack Frost. Knock Knock. Get the pizza. Or I totally butchered that. Anyways, Krampus. Leatherface. Really dug this one. Uh, up there with the remake and the beginning is some of my, uh, is one of my favorite Leatherface movies or Texas Chainsaw movies. Leprechaun Collection. Let Me In. The Monster. Nightmare on Elm Street set. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street remake. Paranormal Activity. Phantasm. Pieces. Rawhead Rex. Return of Swamp Thing. Return of the Living Dead 3. The Ring. The Ruins. Scream. Um, this is, I think it's a Canadian release because it has French on it. But uh, I had that uh, just regular MRA case and came across this at McKay's and I like this better. I'm not a fan of Scream 4 anyways, and I don't think that, that set had it on it anyways either. So, But just like how that looks better on the shelf. Seven. Silence of the Lambs. The Criterion. Sinister. Sleepy Hollow. Tales of Halloween. It's just, that just looks so odd right there. It's the Blu-ray set, but it's just... Like a almost VHS height. Trimmers Attack Pack. The Wolfman. Really like this movie. This is one of, uh, one of my favorite werewolf movies up there with the Howling Dog Soldiers. I know it gets a lot of hate. I don't like the original, but I like this one a whole lot better. And then you're next. And now, the MRA section and the DVD, few DVDs I have. Now I'll wrap up everything in my horror collection. But first off, 30 Days of Night, All Hallows Eve and Mischief Night. How am I going to do this without these falling? I don't know. Amityville Remake, Blair Witch Project, The Blob, Boggy Creek, Cabin Fever, Candyman. Conjuring 2, Creepshow, uh, for the time being, hopefully that's the Creepshow that Screen Factory is putting out is just not with that whole box set and they just uh, drop a regular collector's edition because I really don't want the lithograph and all that stuff, but it is a sweet set. Cujo, 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 however you say it, Dark Knight of the Scarecrows, The Descent, one of my favorite modern horror movies. Devil's Rejects, From Dust Till Dawn, End of Days, Ernest Scared Stupid, It Just Goes in the Horror Collection, Evil Dead 2, Final Girls, Frankenstein's Army, Frozen, Hatchet, Hatchet 2, Hatchet 3, Victor Crowley, the Hills Have Eyes 2. I've heard this is absolute garbage, but I got it for cheap. So, Hell, that's a real fun werewolf movie if you haven't seen it. It takes place on a on a train, but it's a, it's a good one. I liked it a lot. House of a Thousand Corpse. Houses October Built. I Know What You Did Last Summer. I Still Know What You Did Last Summer. It. Jaws Classic. Jaws 2 Snooze Fest. Jaws 3, I actually really like. And then Jaws of Revenge is really cheesy, but I have a lot of fun with it. Let the Right One In. Lights Out. 
Madman, one of the weirdest scenes I've ever seen in the movie. Uh, the hot tub scene. If you've seen this movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Maniac, this was a real good remake, but it's a totally different style of movie. I really had a lot of fun with it. Midnight Movie, The Mist, Monster Squad, My Boy Valentine 3D, the remake, which is really good. I have a lot of fun with that one. Saw it before I saw the original. Never Sleep Again, Night of the Creeps, Night of the Living Dead, Night School, Offerings, love this movie. A lot of fun with that one. Piranha, Piranha Double D, Poltergeist, Prom Night Remake, The Relic, Silent Night, Silver Bullet. Really wasn't impressed with this movie, I guess because I didn't see it when I was younger. Uh, the Werewolf, in my opinion, looks horrible in it, but I don't know. The Sixth Sense, that and Gary Busey really got on my nerves in this movie. Uh, let's see, you won't pull that out all the way, but you can see it is Terrifier. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the remake. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the beginning. Trick or Treat, which I can probably take that out now and get rid of it, because Screen Factory is putting that out. Urban Legend. The Ward. Willow Creek, pretty good Bigfoot flick there. In this classic, Zombievers. And then we'll get into the DVDs. Got Black Xmas. Bones. Critters. Hopefully Screen Factory will put that out. Fire in the Sky. Jack Frost 2 and Ice Cream Man. The Legend of Boggy Creek, the original. Manborg. My Bloody Valentine. And Southbound. Can't forget about this bad boy, Crystal Lake Memories. It's over here with my Friday 13th collection, so had to put him in there. And probably my prized possession out of my whole collection. Of course, I got the 10. You have to have that. Have to have it. Like some people I know, but yeah, that's the final piece de resistance to my horror collection. And now the outro. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, tell me what you think about my collection. Tell me if there's some stuff that I'm missing in there that I need to pick up. But, yeah, that's my horror collection. I'm pretty proud of it. So, until next time, I'm going to enjoy vacation. Uh, I'm filming a video up here again because P wants it. P likes it when I make videos from our vacation so she can go back and watch them and all that good stuff. So, yeah, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Thumbs it up if you like it. Comment down below. Let me know what I'm missing that I need to get in my horror collection. So, until next time, appreciate you watching. See you.